DJ got us falling in love. That is Usher. It's 102.7 KISS FM. Hellcats premieres tonight on the CW, 9, 8 Central. And the star of Hellcats, back to the show now, Ashley Tisdale. Welcome back. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, I was, I was really doing great until <laughs> this weekend. And I, uh, you know, I had worked all week and actually into the weekend and I'd eaten not great and um, probably past the time at which I'd like to eat the stuff I was eating. I shouldn't have eaten as late as so I like ate. like midnight fat burger? Well, it wasn't quite oh, no. that bad. <laughs> but, but then, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of live by your tweeting and I read that you got up this weekend and you went spinning and then you, uh, <laughs> you, you, just, you, you just sound so bouncy on a Saturday morning. Yeah. And it like bummed me out for like I felt <laughs> guilty for not being that bouncy Saturday morning. <laughs> I know. I, I don't know. It's so crazy. I don't sleep in anymore, that's for sure. It was what was it? You went spinning and then you made you made breakfast after you spun and then you spent time with your man. <laughs> yes. But you know what? You are always crazy busy, like in some other place, in some other state, so you can have a fat burger. Well, <laughs> listen, let me tell you, weekend. I can have a fat burger, but my man is really upset about my busy schedule. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, congratulations on uh, Hellcats. It is coming back tonight to the CW. What can we expect this season? Well, this season, of course, you can expect a lot of drama. We left off where Marty and Savannah, actually, Savannah had found out that Marty and Dan hooked up, and Savannah was dating Dan, which is Marty's best friend, and she knew there was a past there. But, you know, Savannah brought Marty into the Hellcats, so it just kind of, you know, has broken the trust, the roommates, and we're heading into sectionals. So we have to stay focused, and it's really, you know, up to the Hellcats to regroup and kind of just, you know, focus on the cheerleading and forget about all the personal drama that's going on. You know, recently uh, the MTV series Skins, which targets young people, uh, got a lot of heat for some of the things that are in the show. Is there are there things that you guys talk about that you will not get near for certain reasons? Uh, no, I mean I, I think I've heard a little bit about that show. I haven't seen it at all, but um, no, I mean it's it's you know typical CW. It's a drama. It's you know fun. It's definitely got the juicy triangles, but I mean it's definitely you know aimed for you know a teen and an older adult audience. So there's nothing that we don't you know that we censor, I don't think. All right, so on average, your best guess as a human being, uh, how many girls do girls actually like in high school? How many girls do girls actually like? Yeah. What are you talking about, like girls, like girlfriends? I think girl power is huge in high school because you're not really hanging with the boys as thick. But you're there, like, there's a balance. Yeah, like, but then there's some girls that are definitely more of the guys' girls. There's a balance between... A little bit of evilness. You know, some girls are known to stab other girls in the back with yeah. the, the fakeness of befriending girls, with the authenticity of really liking certain girls, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, that brings me back to high school, you know. <laughs> yeah. A couple of years ago. Welcome to sure, Hollywood. But, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, girls are tricky. It's It's definitely something that... They're just, you know, it is it is easy being friends with guys because to guys stuff doesn't matter that you know you know girls matter you know things little things matter to girls and and they read you know everything in between the lines everywhere so and definitely there is always that kind of thing but I think for me I was always friends with you know people I trusted and you know who were really there for me I just there's no sense in being friends with someone who is going to talk about you behind their back or anything or behind your back. <laughs> I agree. All right, let's come back with Ashley Tisdale here. Stay with us. 102.7 Kiss FM, Sandstorm. I, I want them to sing in that song still. Sandstorm. Ashley Tisdale is here from Hellcats, which premieres tonight on the CW at 9, 8 Central. This, it's, it's television targeted for girls, but if guys like hot chicks, then you guys could watch as well. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's, that's what the promo should say. <laughs> Thanks for writing it. Uh, so we were talking a little bit about uh, your life and your life on this new show. Is it does it t is it more time consuming to be on this series versus High School Musical for you, Ashley? Yeah, I mean, High School Musical was you know a movie, and and so there are three movies, and obviously we did that over you know three years. Yeah. But, um, but this is definitely you know you know fourteen hour days. You know we're in Vancouver, so. 
when I have, you know, a weekend off or, you know, a couple days off, I'll fly back to L.A. And then also the whole aspect of the cheerleading on the show, you know, we have to learn those dance routines before the next episode. And we used to do it in like two weeks. And now we're doing it like in an hour and a half. So we've come a long way. Tell me, but, um, tell me that you practice at home with your boyfriend. <laughs> they, they're like, babe, babe, herky me or whatever. Uh, oh my God. No, I just know that, like, you, I, I'm assuming that with all those hours in you in a relationship, you would say at some point in the evening, babe, I gotta, I gotta learn this number here. You be someone. Mm. No, I mean, if anything, I'm just like, oh, look at this number, and I'll like do it. Yeah, there you <laughs> I go. Mean, cheerleading. I, I don't do the stunts. You know, I have a stunt double. I, I try to do as many of the stunts as, as I can, but really, it's just you know, kind of you know, cheerleading moves. So it's not like, too extravagant, but um. I'm always, you know, practicing and all that stuff. Hey, Ashley, so w tell me about um, your return as Sharpay to your high school musical character. What made you want to go back and do it? You know, the third movie, at the very end, uh, they pretty much the ending for Sharpay was that she was going to stay and help the theater department with Miss Darbus. And I was just like, you know, that's just like, I can't believe it. That character was just so much fun, and I just felt like, it really wasn't the best ending to, to, to the Sharpay, and so I just felt like when I read the script and they had offered it to me, I was just like, you know what, I, first of all, I'm here because of the fans that made High School Musical what it is today, and I definitely wanted to just kind of have a really great ending for, you know, such an amazing character, and she's so much fun to play, and this time you actually get to see her kind of grow up and uh, different sides of her that you've never seen before. So it comes out in the spring. I'm really excited about it. Well, keep up the good work. Thanks for the time. I will